Hey everybody, today we're going to take a quick look at Love Lies Bleeding, directed by Rose Glass and starring Kristen Stewart, Katie O'Brien, and Ed Harris. Way back in 1989, gym manager Lou, played by Stewart, meets bodybuilder Jackie, played by O'Brien. Jackie is a vagrant who has been slowly hitchhiking her way towards Las Vegas, where there is an upcoming bodybuilding competition that will hopefully be her big break. Lou helps her out with the place to stay and some steroids, and the two start up a relationship. All is well at first, but things start to get a little messy when Lou's brother-in-law beats the ever-loving shit out of her sister Beth. And it gets even messier when her brother-in-law turns up very dead. And if you've seen the movie, you know why I'm describing him that way. I found this to be an interesting story about a couple of broken people who find comfort in each other. And it's amazing what lengths people will go to for love, or at least what they perceive as love. This might include murder and other various crimes, or staying with an abusive spouse. They say love conquers all, but that may very well include you. It also serves as a cautionary tale about steroid use. There is a lot of roid rage in this movie. There appears to be quite a bit of David Lynch influence in this movie, a lot of surreal shit going on, and the lines between fantasy and reality are often blurred. And for the most part, I thought the movie handled this pretty well... until the ending. Without giving too much away, it totally goes off the rails, and I have no idea what the hell happened. Again, the David Lynch influence is there, with all the good and bad that that entails. One other minor criticism, the makeup effects on Jenna Malone's face after she gets the crap beat out of her by her husband... Ooh, that... that did not look good. It looked like they took a lump of Play-Doh, slapped it on her face, and called it good. This may very well be a side effect of the movie's budget, which I haven't found any concrete figures for, but I assume it was pretty low. As I have said before, Kristen Stewart can act when she is actually allowed to do so. And she gives a very good performance here. And Lou's relationship with Jackie feels very genuine through all of its ups and downs. O'Brien also gives a good performance, and man, she is jacked. Which I suppose should not be surprising. She did do some bodybuilding before she got into acting. Ed Harris plays Lou's crime boss father, and he is a very intimidating presence, even with those god-awful hair extensions that he has. He is bald on top, long hair along the sides, he's basically rocking the Hulk Hogan look, and somehow he makes it work. Just... The man is good at what he does. While the ending was kind of a mess, I still enjoyed this movie overall. And if you want to see a messed up love story with some really weird shit going on, it's worth a matinee. And that's all I have to say about Love Lies Bleeding. Till next time, take care.